Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Laniela, La Planning Diva. And today I'm going to be setting up my fitness planner. This is my functional Franken planner. I have five different planners in here. Um, this is what keeps my world going. This is what keeps my world spinning. What is that? What is that phrase? It, oh, turning. This is what makes my world turn. Anyway, this is what helps me live my most healthy life. It's my holistic Franken planner. I have fitness, meal planning, um, budget, faith, and gardening in here. It is currently President's Day. It's Monday. I wasn't able to get around to setting up my fitness planner um, over the weekend, which is ideally what happens, how it happens. But you know, sometimes you just don't have time and you aren't able to set things up until Monday. And that's where I am right now. Thankfully, it is a three-day weekend. So I have a little bit of grace here. Um, so we're just going to be setting up my fitness planner. And I am in love with this functional Franken planner. Um, huge, huge, huge shout out to Rachel from Reach Makes a Planner. Plan. We hung out in LA a couple weeks ago and she actually has the exact same Cozy Critters cover and she had it on these gorgeous lavender um, expander discs and I was so inspired by her planner. It was so beautifully like put together and I could tell that it just worked for her and she inspired me to put the same discs on my planner so now we're planner twins but it's just so beautiful like the contrast between the lavender metal discs and this beautiful pink cover. I just love it and I also dragged out my colorful leopard zip folio which <laughs> Rachel also has her planner in this leopard zip folio so I'm totally totally copying Rachel at this point. <laughs> I hope you don't mind Rachel. I used to use this quite a bit and then I started using the big like the big planner quite a bit and so I just wasn't in my classic as much and so I stopped using the zip folio but I want to get back into using it and just taking it around with me and it fits my functional um Franken planner very well obviously anyways um I just want to set this to the side we're going to be setting up my fitness planner here and I'm so excited to set up my fitness planner with you all this um, time around because I have some exciting stickers to share with you. So let's flip to my fitness planner here. So this is my first section in my functional Franken planner. I have these dividers separating each section and I actually have two months at a time for each of my sections. So five planners, two months. I have 10 months in this planner. So this is the month of February in my fitness planner. I'm using the tie-dye fitness planner. I love it so much. And this is the monthly overview here. And I used to use this as kind of like a recap of all of the workouts and exercise I do in a given month. It gives me kind of a bird's eye perspective of how much I'm working out in a given month. And it's nice to see like all of my accomplishments um, over a longer period of time. February has been a bit rough for me because I had surgery on Friday and so I just wasn't supposed to work out for at least a week after, and so I've just been walking a lot. This past weekend, the 18th, was the first time I actually did a good workout. I went hiking and it was very um, full body. It was a full body experience because it was a bit of a technical hike, and so we were using um, just like our upper body and our legs a lot more. We had to do a bit of climbing and scrambling along rocks and cliff faces. And so I'm actually sore, like my upper body is sore from that. And usually, you know, you think of hiking as more of just like a, a bit more of an intense walk, but depending on how technical the hike is, it can be a full body experience. Anyways, that is to say that I finally feel like I'm able to start working out again. I don't think I'm going to be doing heavy weights for at least two more weeks, but I think I'm going to be able to run, hike, and do um, abs, legs, full body workouts. I'm just not going to be using really heavy weights like above 15 pounds for at least two weeks. So right now the monthly is a lot of walking and I actually designed these walking stickers. I made these, printed them out. Um, I still need to get a Cricut so that I can actually print out stickers and cut them. Right now I'm just printing them out and cutting them manually with scissors, which is a little bit annoying. But I made these walking stickers. I love how they turned out. Let me zoom in a little bit. 
And so I've just been using them a lot um, for the February monthly because walking is all I've been doing, honestly. However, I actually want to change how I'm using the monthly. I actually am thinking of planning out an entire month of workouts and then referring to this when I plan my weeklies. And so that's how I'm thinking of doing it now, moving forward. I'm going to start in March. So that way it's not super redundant because I feel like it has been kind of redundant up till now. Like what I'll do is I'll plan out the weekly and then once the weekly is done, I'll go back to the monthly and then write it all again, like the things that I actually did. And so it feels a little bit redundant. I mean, I was okay with that for a while, but I'm actually thinking it would be cool to set up an entire month. But I was thinking it would be cool to set up a like a monthly fitness program and then um, refer to that program as I'm going through the weeks and planning my weeks. Yeah, February has been a bit rough for me. The first week of February, I had surgery on the 3rd and this entire week was super busy for me. So I wasn't really working out. I was walking, but that was about it. And then this week, I absolutely did do nothing because I just had surgery. This sticker I actually made and I just plopped it down here because I was trying to figure out um, sizing, but I did not run this day. And these are the latest stickers I've made for myself, my run tractor stickers. Okay, so this is where we're getting um, back into my fitness planner. And I'm so excited to share this with you all because I've made a lot of stickers on here. Okay, let me pull my bookmark off. I love this bookmark. So this is the first week that I started feeling okay and that I was ready to be back in my fitness planner. And I was really, really motivated and excited because, because I made four of these stickers here. I made these Fitbit stat stickers. I made these hiking stickers. I made these run tracker stickers and I made these hydration tracker stickers. I really, really, really want to make my own stickers and make them available to anyone who's interested in using my stickers. And the main reason why I want to make my own stickers is because I personally have a need of having like hundreds of certain types of stickers like hydration tracker stickers and Fitbit stat stickers. And also, I like stat heavy stickers, like I like keeping track of my running stats and my hiking stats. I mean, stats in general, I just really enjoy keeping track of. I think it's because I'm a data scientist. I like collecting data. I like looking at data. I like analyzing data. I like data. <laughs> I like data. So, And I feel like Happy Planner doesn't do a lot of stat heavy stickers. I think they do have some good stat stickers, but nothing like what I wanted or envisioned. Like I wanted running tracker stickers where I could keep track of the length, the time, the pace, the calories, and the steps. I wanted hiking stickers where I could write the trail. Um, I could write the duration, the distance, the elevation, and also the difficulty and, you know, like an overall rating of the hike. And so I decided to make my own and I love how they turned out. I am completely in love with them. And this is just like the first draft of my stickers. I can't wait until I start, you know, getting to the third, fourth, fifth iteration of my stickers. And then of course, hydration trackers. I wanted hydration trackers because I just go through them like crazy. And I just wanted to be able to always have a constant stack of hydration stickers. Even though this week looks busy, I actually didn't do too much here. Um, these stickers right here, I did not run. <laughs> I was just testing out what it would look like when I filled in my um, running tracker stickers. The only thing I really did this week was just get back into the habit of decorating my fitness planner and being in my fitness planner. Um, I kept track of my Fitbit stats. I kept track of my hydration. I did a really nice hike on Saturday. This was an intense workout. This was my full body hike. And then I stretched on Sunday. And that was pretty much it that I did. But um, I am ready to really start getting into my fitness again for the 20th through the 26th. I definitely feel a lot better. I've recovered pretty well from my surgery. Um, I started running a little bit as well. Like during our hike, we jogged a little bit of it and I started feeling like 
I am capable of running again, and so I'm excited to jump back into my fitness program. I definitely, definitely need it. I've definitely gained weight in the last couple of weeks thanks to surgery and COVID. And honestly, I've been stress eating um, quite a bit for the last two weeks as well, and just, uh, you know, living my tourist life and eating too much, and so, and not working out enough. And so I've definitely gained weight. I've noticed it in my body. Some of my tightest, like, jeans and skirts actually don't fit me right now anymore and so I really want to lose um, maybe 10 pounds um, just so I can get back into some of those outfits that don't fit me anymore <laughs> and also honestly it, I just feel a lot better when I'm much more toned and I am I don't have to carry as much with me <laughs> anyways um, and I'm so excited because we're going to be using my stickers here. I have a pack of stickers. Um, these are Happy Planner stickers and my own stickers. So let's get into this fitness plan with me. Okay, let me pull out these stickers actually because the first thing that I am going to do is um, lay down my Fitbit Stat stickers and my hydration stickers, which do I have those in here? Uh, let's see. Oh, here they are. Here's my hydration tracker stickers. And actually, I might pull this um, folder out just so that um, I can have like a smooth surface to write on here. So first thing I'm going to do, lay down my Fitbit stat stickers, lay down my hydration tracker stickers. And while I do that, I'm going to think about what I want to do this week. And I'll um, get back to you in a second about my ideas for this week. And also, I haven't purchased a Cricut yet. I just haven't gotten around to it. So what I've been doing is just cutting them out manually. Um, but when I get a Cricut, I'm going to be able to just like peel them off pretty well. All right, let's do this. Let's lay these stickers down and um, I'll see you in a bit. All right, there we go. Fitbit stats and hydration trackers are laid down. And I'm pretty boring with my stats and my hydration tracker stickers. Um, I always put my Fitbit stats here and I always put my hydration tracker down here. It's just, I think, the perfect places for both of these stickers. And I'm not trying to be like super exciting or innovative when it comes to how I lay out my fitness planner. It is strictly, well, I would say it's like 90% functional and 10% fun and festive. I mean, just the fact that I'm using stickers and stuff and having fun with it is already enough creativity for me. But the point of this planner really is to motivate me to work out, to maintain a consistent exercise routine, and to improve on my workouts. I am also working my way towards running a marathon. It's something I've always wanted to do. And for me, it is important to keep track of my stats when it comes to running so that I know I'm making good progress towards achieving that goal. So sometimes my fitness planner spreads aren't the most pretty, they aren't the cutest, but I think they're cute enough. <laughs> and again, this is that's not the point of this fitness planner. Like I don't mind it looking kind of plain, simple, or just repetitive even because I do the same thing every single week, but it really works for me and and I get my creative energy out in my big flagship planner where I have a lot more fun with decoration. But again, this is very functional for me. Okay. Anyways, the plan is to run four times this week. Yes, four times. Yes, I'm going zero to a hundred real quick. We'll see what happens, but I think I think I'll be fine. I think it'll be good for me. Oh, I just realized that I wanted to use these longer stickers. And right now my stickers, I have to cut them out manually. I have to use scissors because I don't have the Cricut, but I think I'm gonna get it next month. I actually had placed an order for one um, during Black Friday and someone picked up my order <laughs> that was not me. I don't know how they managed to give them my order but i guess he didn't check like identification and someone got my order i wasn't able to get my cricket they returned my money to me but the deal that i was trying to get i wasn't able to get and so i've been kind of salty about that and i haven't tried to go purchase a cricket since then but i think next month i will finally go to joanne's and get my cricket but the plan is to run monday and i'm thinking i'll put these here i 
sized these so that they could fit into these boxes here pretty well. I have this medium size and I also have an itty bitty size that will fit up here in these boxes. And I also have like a humongous size which I wonder if I have that around here. Yeah, I have this size. This size is huge. So you can see like the difference in sizes here. But sometimes I feel like having a smaller sticker. Sometimes I want a larger sticker. Sometimes I want a huge sticker. So I wanted to make these in at least three different sizes. Anyways, I'm gonna run Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm thinking Saturday. Okay, so let me lay down these stickers. Perfect, I love it. And the reason I wanna run Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday is because I eventually want to get on this um, Marathon Novice One training program. And how this is set up is you run Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You run three days in a row, you take a rest day, and then you take, and then you run again a longer distance on Saturday, and then you do some aerobic training on Sunday rest on Monday, but I eventually want to get to the point where I'm running four times a week so that I'm able to do this running program. So I'm going to start off, I think I'm going to take three to four weeks to prep to begin this program because um, I took such a long time to rest and recover that I don't want to jump straight into this. I'm thinking of building up to this program, taking three to four weeks to build up to it. So I'm trying to run four times a week and um, for this program, the first couple of days you're running three miles, um, three days a week, and then six miles on the weekend. I'm thinking I'm going to do two miles, two miles, two miles, maybe four miles. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to leave them blank for now because um, I'm going to listen to my body and see what I'm able to do. If it turns out that I only run, you know, two miles, one mile, half a mile, and then maybe one mile, then that's what's going to happen. And oh my goodness, another reason why I love making my own stickers is because it took me forever to write down Fitbit stats and running tracker stats and even setting up my hydration tracker just manually by hand using mild liners and pen. Actually, I think I might have, oh no, I don't have it. I was going to show you how I like physically set up or manually set up these um, trackers. I would always just use like pen and highlighter and I would write these things. Like I would write length, time, pace, calorie steps just manually over and over and over again. And this is so much easier to just pop down a sticker and it still looks super, super cute. Okay, and then actually I have these, these walking stickers here and I think I might um, pop these down. These will be fun. And I walk every single day because um, I have dogs and I walk my dogs. It's only on very rare occasions that I do not walk every single day. So I do want to put these walking stickers on every single day. My goal is to walk at least an hour every single day because I like to walk my dogs 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening. And it's just a really nice way to decompress. And also, um, dogs should be walked at least 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening, um, especially if you have a smaller place. Thankfully, I do have a house with a large backyard, and so my dogs are spoiled. And um, they are fine if I'm not able to walk them in the morning or in the evening. But honestly, like dogs do need a lot of exercise and I do have a puppy right now. So walking the dogs is definitely something that needs to happen. Although I'll be honest, um, sometimes I'm not able to walk them an hour every day. Sometimes I can only walk them 15 minutes in the morning, maybe like 15 minutes in the evening. And then some days I don't walk them at all because I'm running late to work and my boyfriend walks them for me and then i get home really late because it's been a long day and my boyfriend's already walked them and so sometimes i don't even walk them but i am trying to get in the habit of walking them every single morning and evening for at least 30 minutes on top of what i'm working out and i find that helps me um, stay fit and stay nice and lean and trim so we have my walking stickers here love them and then lastly i'm thinking of doing a hike on sunday I'm not sure what hike I want to do yet, but um, I'm thinking of doing a hike. 
sometime on the weekend i might even do it on saturday like i might switch these at the end of the week like i might hike on saturday and then run on sunday we'll see how it goes but i do want to hike on the weekend so i'm gonna put down one of my hiking stickers i love it so much okay now time to pull out my um happy planner stickers of course i love my happy planner stickers i'm always going to be a happy planner girl um, and I want to do two workouts, two strength workouts on top of this. I want to do an ab workout on Tuesday because I definitely feel like my middle has gotten a little soft. Um, and I just want to tighten up my core. And then Thursday, I want to do um, booty and legs. And then also, I want to um, stretch. Let me find a good stretch sticker that's another sticker that i'm thinking of making soon is like a stretching sticker because i don't feel like the happy planner does a lot of stretching stickers so let me find a good um, sticker that i can use for stretches um maybe these smaller workout stickers here let's pull this out and i think i'm going to do stretching like hardcore stretching I'm talking like a 15 minute um, total leg stretch Tuesday and Thursday and then Sunday. So let's do that. And then I'm going to grab some gel pens to write that all out. Um, let's see. Am I in frame? Yeah, I'm in frame. Good enough, I guess. So this is going to be um, abs abs and i want to do 15 minutes and then we'll see how many calories i burn and then up here it's going to be the stretch 15 minutes and then over here i'm going to do um booty because i want a thick ass and this is going to be 15 minutes as well and again i'll leave it blank for calories and then I'm gonna write stretching on in these boxes. There we go. And this is my ride or die Mad Fits. Uh, Mad Fit is a YouTuber. She does all types of um, live workouts. Um, she does this front split stretch routine, 15 minutes, amazing, amazing stretch for your legs. Like it really loosens up your hips, your hamstrings, your calves. It's fantastic. And I actually have been doing the stretch for about two years, I would say. And I can actually do my front splits thanks to this stretch. Like before I had never done like a, a complete split before. I probably could have reached my front splits much faster than two years, but um, I definitely took long breaks in between. Like sometimes I'll get really into the routine with my stretches, my front split stretches. Like I'll do it, you know, three times a week. And then sometimes I'll go like three months without doing this routine. And so I probably could have gotten my front splits faster than two years, but um, it all, depends on how consistent you are with the stretch. Okay, and I think that is all. This is a really, really full um, spread here. Oh, I guess one last thing that I want to do is habit trackers, maybe? Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, what about one of these? These are fun. These like journaling habit tracker stickers right here let me pop this down right here it says goal because days i achieved goal feeling i like using this little spot right here to journal so we'll leave that um maybe i'll add a little icon sticker somewhere <gasps> like one of these here um like a little kettle ball like i can add this right there that's cute but the goal here what's my goal my goal, I think, is to stick with my fitness program, hit each one of these workouts, and also check in with my fitness planner. Okay, and then I journaled a little bit about why I want to stick to my fitness program. The first reason is because I want to build a strong body capable of amazing feats. I really try to frame my workouts and my fitness journey in terms of what I'm gaining, what I'm building, what I'm developing, what I'm achieving, as opposed to thinking about it in terms of loss, like I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to look prettier, you know? I feel like that negative mindset isn't super healthy and it's not a great motivator and i don't think it helps 
maintain a healthy relationship of self-love and respect with your body and so I really try to be positive about what I'm doing. Reason number two is fit into my beautiful clothes. <laughs> Um, I really don't want to shame myself for not fitting into my clothes and for gaining weight to the point that I can't fit into some of my clothes. But I also want to remember that I was able to maintain and achieve a particular weight and size that allowed me to fit into these clothes that I spent money on, that I think I look great in. And I don't want to get rid of those clothes just because I gained some weight and I can't fit into them because I know that I can drop a few pounds. You know, if I stick to my fitness, if I'm strong, if I can really exercise discipline and restraint, I know that I can fit back into those clothes. And so I want to kind of think of fitting back into my clothes as like a reward like i get to have my clothes back <laughs> and i get to use my clothes so i want to fit into my clothes and then lastly i want to improve my mood and sleep and concentration these are all things that are tied to a good exercise and fitness routine so i really want to remember that if i stick to my workouts then i'm improving all these other aspects in my life and then i will see how many times i achieve this goal and how i'm feeling at the end of the week okay that was a super super long fitness plan with me i think this turned out wonderful i do want to leave some little spots here and there to add some decoration to journal um to add more stickers of course and then maybe at the end of the week i'll journal up here and i'm in love with this um, spread. I think it looks fantastic and I'm really really excited to jump back into fitness. So thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know how your fitness routine, your fitness program is going. Good luck with it. If you're struggling with your fitness program, I would recommend start off with scheduling walks and scheduling stretching. Like You'll be surprised how much a good stretch improves your ability to complete workouts and also improves like the motivation to work out like, like if you're feeling good from a good stretch your body feels loose and good and ready and warmed up you're much more um, motivated and able to just jump into a, a good workout it's so hard to um, jump into a workout from like a cold tired tight body like your mind just fights it but if you do some nice stretching beforehand walking stretching you get your body warmed up and then you start feeling like your body is ready to go like you want to work it out because it feels so good anyways i hope you have a wonderful three-day weekend i hope to see you in my next video until then stay safe stay blessed and happy planning bye